So if I'm to be completely honest with everyone, when I first came to Mournhold, and I started hearing about our little uh, royal problem, and hearing all about the royals, I was under the impression that King Helseth was the son to King Lethen, and that um, Queen Berenzia had been married to King Helseth, and that's why she was queen. Obviously, I was wrong, and I obviously realized that when... Um, I went to pay my respects to Lethen's widow. Uh, that being said, well, I guess it really wasn't w gone into detail prior to that, or at least I didn't encounter anything that would have necessarily made it seem that way. I thought King Helseth was just that much of an asshole that he would kill his dad to get, um, well, the uh, title of king. I know that he was uh, king over in Wayrest. I just thought that maybe, oh, since his dad was king in Morrowind, he was king in Wayrest for the time being before he came back to Morrowind. But I guess it also makes sense because uh, King Lethen was uh, preparing someone else to be king in his stead. So, I mean, it all makes sense in the end. Just like I said, originally I was under the impression that they were all related. Have you located the anonymous writer for the Common Tongue? So... Trellis Varus is the anonymous writer of the Common Tongue, and Trellis Varus gave you his word that he would not discuss King Helseth in the Common Tongue. You gave him 3,000 gold to contribute to the Widows and Orphans Fund? Uh, yes, a small sacrifice in the service of my king. We place great trust in your judgment, and we are very satisfied with your service and sentiments. You shall have 3,000 gold to cover your expenses, and a rich reward and great honor besides. I give you a King's Oath Blade, exactly like those used by the Royal Guard. Odds are it will be shit. Only those sworn to the King's service and tested by the Great Trials may use them. They bear deadly curses that kill thieves and traitors. And there's one last official matter. Go to Lady Berenzia. She's asked to speak with you. Oh boy. Fan. Fanboy time. The king's health to you, Sarah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King whatever. Oh, I'm excited. Also, King's Oath. Two-handed. 60, 52, and 36. So. Actually. It's not terrible. It's, um... I mean, in some ways, I kind of like it more than Chrismere because it's cast when strike, so damage health, paralyze, and fire damage. Yeah, no, so let's just slot that in. Well, I'm not using these amulets anymore, so we'll make it, what is that, five? Yeah. I'm going to try that out. I am definitely going to try that out. All right. Oh, I'm over encumbered. I'm sorry. Um, it's a little embarrassing, isn't it now? Uh, let me just drop this spear on the floor. Blessed spear. 2 to 8, 2 to 8, 5 to 32. Yeah. You want it? Go for it. I have an appointment with the queen. This is not where the queen is. I'm sorry, that was the wrong way, but I saw it right behind the throne, so my first thought was, ah, yes, obviously I must go this way. So do I just go into his chambers then? No. Maybe I should have asked where she is then. I immediately was like, oh yeah, I'll just stroll on in, no problem. Uh, we are we are quite satisfied with the way you handled the anonymous writer of the common tongue. I haven't anything more for you, but I understand Lady Berenzia would like to speak with you. Yes, the Queen Mother. Have you spoken with her? You'll usually find her in her chambers here in the palace. An interesting woman has the same keen intellect as her son, the King. Long live the King. I mean, I know you're biased, but I've heard people say that they like her a lot more than the King. And that the King didn't exactly get her charm. What I could do is... I could wear the Hunter's Amulet of Strength. And then... Yeah, with that I can carry the Blessed Spear. Oh yeah. That way I just have that in my inventory for right now. So where are her chambers then? Legion Depot. And I, those are Helseth's chambers, so... Legion Depot, Legion Depot, 
courtyard, throne room, basement, Helseth's chambers. Uh, yeah, let me look around. Okay. Found your chambers. It was through the Imperial Cult Services. Uh, also come to think of it, I, I'm pretty sure I knew that, uh, Brenzia wasn't married to, uh, King Lethen. I'm pretty sure I knew that she was married, uh, to someone else. And I realized that after I spoke about, like, oh, I thought that she might have been married to Lethen and that they, that they were all related. And thinking back on it, I was like, wait, no, definitely not the case. Hello, Queen Berenzia. Approach and be recognized, my good man. Ah, I like her. Well, I'm guessing, yeah, that's a, that's a crown of sorts. Greetings, George. I've been wanting to speak with you. I understand you've been performing some duties for uh, Tienius, and you've done well. I believe there are other matters you should investigate as well. Mornhold is a town of two minds. On the one hand, there is the monarchy, led by Helseth, and on the other hand, there is the temple and the goddess Almalexia. It is hard to know whom you may trust. While there has been no open hostility between the two, there are always undercurrents that bear watching. I would like you to make yourself known to the temple. See what you can learn. Speak to Fedris Hilaire. He's a powerful man in the temple, a confidant of Almolexia. See if you can get to know him a bit. I, I'm, a, I'm familiar with him. There's more to Hilaire than one would think. There are rumors that he was once an assassin. It is fairly widely known that he is the leader of the hands of Almolexia. This is not a person to be trifled with. Whom you may quite trust. A difficult question, especially in the company of gods and kings. I'm always here to answer your questions. My time in the political arena is done, and I will not miss it. I do, however, like to know what is happening to my son and to his monarchy. I stay interested. You should also take the time to speak with Plinidius Mero, a dear friend of mine. He is knowledgeable on a great many subjects and is always interesting to speak with. Apart we too... It is up to you to decide who you are friends with. Ah, Plintinius. He's a dear friend of mine, an author, a man of the people. He's a good source of information. These royal trappings don't allow me to get out as much as I'd like, but I can always count on Plintinius to know how the winds will change. You'll often find him wandering about in the palace courtyard. Get to know him, George. His knowledge and judgment are unparalleled. Oh, okay, I know who she's talking about. The man that I was like, oh, he's a writer, and I got very suspicious. What does she have to say about Almalexia? She is one of the tribunal of the god kings of Morrowind. She resides in the high temple here in Mornhold. What do you think about your son? He is my son. He is also the king of Morrowind. All right. If that's really all you have to say. Do you have something to say, Dunmer? I'm sorry. Are you, uh... You're gonna be hostile towards me? I suppose so. Um, well, my journal didn't update, so... Let me make sure that I just get the quest from her. Although it's very possible that um... It doesn't give you an actual quest, but that it just um, will be the thing of like, oh yeah, if you go and do it, then it'll add the quest in after you get to know uh, Fedra's Hilaire. Uh, let me just check another couple conversation topics and we'll see. Um... Alright. Nope. Barl Zars Maze Band. I've heard of this thing, George, but I know very little about it. I've heard whispers about it, but few details. Some say it's cursed, some say it is not. I cannot understand why the goddess would want such a thing. If you want to know more, I would suggest speaking with Tarasa Aram at the Museum of Artifacts. She has great knowledge of these things. Take care. Some things are best left buried. Alright. King Lethen's death. I am sorry for his widow. He was an old man and had lived a rich and rewarding life, but that is little consolation to those left behind. Fair. Um. 
Yeah, because when I just ask about uh, things I can do for her, it doesn't give a quest. Yeah, all right. So I guess we'll just go over and... Well, we'll speak with her friend in the courtyard. And then we can go over to the temple and speak with Fedris Lars, him since we're already familiar with him. How are you today? Good for the Empire. He might get a little suspicious, but like, why are you so curious of all this, all of a sudden? And I'll be like, nothing. Good to see you again, friend. No reason. I was just doing a little writing. Hello, what can I do for you? My research tells me that Hilaire has been with the Lady Amalexia for many years, now serving in an official capacity as her steward. What those duties entail is not known to me, but there are rumors that he carried out some of the more unpleasant chores for the goddess. Ah, the Lady Berenzia, a fine, fine woman. It has been my pleasure to have known her as long as I have. The way they were talking about each other, I think they're a little intimate. Helseth is the son of Berenzia, former queen of Morrowind, who herself was the niece of King Athen Lethen. Oh, okay. There's the relation. It is certain that his bloodline is strong. He is a young king, though, and perhaps a bit rash. He does not yet possess his mother's wisdom and his father's courage. Okay, I think I asked him about this previously. Reading it now, I'm like, wait, I think I might have read this previously. So, we can just ignore everything I said, as per usual. What else is new? Alright, on to never the seen. temple. Other way. About face! And on to the temple. So Fedris Lair. He's just gonna ask, like, yes, why haven't you found Baralzar's maze to band yet? I'm like, well, let's just let's talk about you, buddy. You know, some assassins tried to kill me. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Assassins, now would you? Or how to From what stop I hear, assassins? Trouble at the palace. Ah, uh, yes, trouble at the palace. Let's get to know you. I am Fedris Hler. What do you want? You may call me Fedris Hler. What I do is my own affair. Hmm. Berenzia. That one has ears everywhere. The people love her, always have, and she's seemingly stayed out of pol uh, politics since her return to Mournhold. Make no mistake, though, she knows the score in this town. A savvy old woman, to be sure. They are the servants to Our Lady Almalexia. When something must be done in her name, the hands are her instruments. They are the strongest, most pious, and most loyal of all the Lady's followers. Perhaps you've seen ordinators on Vardenfell. Fierce warriors, all. They were the men judged unfit to serve in Our Lady's city. The High Ordinators are the strongest warriors in all of Morrowind. They protect the temple and the city against all threats. Do not cross them. Our new young king, Halsith. He is ruthless and not foolish, as some would have you believe. He has some of his mother's political savvy, and he has all of his father's ruthlessness. All right. I mean, I've got a 96 disposition with him. And, like I said, there's no real quest. Hmm. Um. Maybe there was a conversation with Berenzia that I missed. I'm not sure. I'm so hungry. I could eat a rat. Good to see you again, friend. I was just doing a little writing. Hmm. Yes, well, I suppose I've written one thing you might have read. You see, there was a time I worked as a scribe for a beautiful young queen. I was young and ambitious, perhaps a bit too much of either for my own good. After a great deal of research, I was able to publish a biography. Why, the real Branzia, of course. I feel it is my duty to give history a true and honest account of this remarkable woman. The story I presented, while true, was perceived as scandalous. My exuberance for the tale was left unchecked by wisdom, and I fear I caused some damage to the woman, not to mention the imperial family. As I've said, the tale was a true one. However, the details within should probably not have been as... Uh, not have been divulged as they were. There were details that were felt to be embarrassing to the Septim line, though it was not my intent for them to be so. 
The work was ordered banned, and I was to be executed. Were it not for the grace of the lady herself, I would long be in my grave. If you've read the work, you'll know that Queen Berenzi is many things, but she is not shy, and she is not ashamed of how her life was led. She knew my work to be true, and I believe she felt a sense of amusement, if not satisfaction, at the tale's telling. She protected me from the Imperial family and spread the word of my demise at her guard's hands. Since then, I have traveled her, uh, with her under this name, acting as her scribe, her advisor, and dare I say, her friend. I could have asked for no greater honor. The only thing I hope for is to one day be able to publish further volumes of the work to chronicle the lady's life after her marriage to King Edwyr. Perhaps one day I will be able to, but I am old and my time grows short. Oh, that I could write fiction as great as the plot the Lady Berenzia has lived. Alright, so after talking to both of them again, um, well, there was no actual <coughs> quest. So what I think it is, is that I just have to do quests for him now. For, um, for Fedra Slayer, and that's how you're supposed to get to know him better, and hopefully that he'll uh, divulge something. Because I remember people had said, like, oh, do the quests for Helseth first. And, well, I've done all the quests for Tienis, or Tienius, for King Helseth, so maybe this is where I have to be. Maybe this is the point where it's like, okay, now you go and do the quests for Hilaire. Because I've been told that you can do uh, both sets of que quests without any issue. And it would seem that the quest line Welcome for... Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. Um, it would seem the quest for Berenzia and Helseth leads to doing quests for the temple as well. Barrelzar's Mazed Band. The Mazed Band may actually be no more than a legend, though there is no doubt of Barrelzar's existence or his power. It has been said that the Mazed Band was, open, uh, was able to open rifts in time and space, that it could even open the gates of oblivion. It's been said that it would take one of divine birth to wield the ring. Well, you don't say. Some speculate that that was how Barrelzar himself met his end. Of course, this is all conjecture. No one really knows what happened to the man or the band. All of that was lost centuries ago. You're not helping me at all. It's not helping me. It doesn't give me any sort of lead to go on. It's like, well, I don't know if it even exists. It could very well just be a myth for all I know. Like, wow, thanks. So useful, so helpful. I mean, they wouldn't have given me a quest where it's like, oh, go find this artifact. Well, it's not real, it doesn't exist, whatever. But maybe talking to Hlaire with this updated information will help me out along the way. All I know is that you're to retrieve it from the temple ruins. That's all you should need to know as well. Talk to Drin if you need to know more. Whatever you want. Within reason. Oh, he, all right, yeah. So that's just the update is go talk to Gavis Drin. Because Gavis Drin knows the location of it, being underneath the temple Justice and all. Justice never sleeps. It's just that speaking with... Um, speaking with the curator at the museum and stuff like that, that's what gives you information about the ring itself. Tells you what the ring actually does. You're to retrieve Barrelzar's mazed band, are you not? Uh, you'll need to retrieve it from the temple ruins quickly. The goddess wishes to have it in her possession. Okay, yeah. Uh, so... Our lady's blessings upon me. Yep, just into the temple sewers then. Which they had already told me previously, I'm pretty sure, too. I was just being thorough. Yeah, that's what I thought. They mentioned where it is. It's in an abandoned crypt, which I can reach through a passage in the northwest se section of the temple sewers. All right. I do remember that. But seeing that there were other conversation topics about it, I figured, all right, let me just ask and see what everyone else has to say about the band. Which is definitely interesting. It's like, oh, opens... Planes to oblivion? Or opens, not planes to oblivion, opens holes to oblivion. 
We gotta try out our new sword. Ooh, that's fancy. It's a fancy, fancy sword. We are also going to take off Moon and Star. We're gonna put the Ring of Azura on for that Night Eye effect. Oh, much better. Oh, here they come. Here they all come. And boop. Target resist the magic. That's fine. That is fine. Um, sewers east, sewers west, and then this is, well, I haven't been this way, but this will be the way that I have to go. Well, those are some big rats right there. Targo, is this the magic? Oh, whoa, when did I take so much health damage? Good thing I noticed. Oh, another ghost. Yeah, so I think a Chrismere does more straight up damage than this does, but with its cast on strike effects, this is a little bit more powerful in some ways. It also does similar damage. Not as much damage, but it does similar damage just in terms of raw output, so. Also, the drained health probably makes it more powerful. So there is that as well. Whoop! Oh, you missed! Okay, that second one didn't miss. It is nice, though. It's like, oh, get that one hit in. And then just watch as their health drains before your very eyes. Also, how much of an enchantment does this have on it? Or how strong of an enchantment is this? Because... Oh, okay, never mind. My charge is at... Well, a little less than a quarter of full charge, so... It drains pretty quickly, but that's also just because my... Enchant is... Well, level 15. It's not terrible. It's not bad. Alright, we just need to find... The Mazed Band. Down here somewhere. Should probably not use that for taking out rats. It's a little bit of a waste. Might as well just switch back to my mace. Which still does the most damage out of everything that I have. But, we'll see that that's just straight up damage. Oh, oh yeah, you punch that rat. Yeah, you punch him in the face. I'm meant to switch to my mace, but... Hitting three, which is my shield hockey, just switched to my fists instead. Here he comes. I'm loving King's Oath. It is goddamn incredible. Oh. Oh, is that Barrels are? Oh, I think it is. Okay. Don't you shoot you that magic. Have no place here, child of living flesh. The maze band must not be allowed to leave this tomb. The band should never have existed at all. That was my folly, and this is my curse. For all eternity, I am damned to walk in this half-life, to keep my creation from destroying the hearts and minds of mortals. Those who would challenge my fate will pay with their lives. Alright, gonna pay with my life. Okay. Oh, I've been blinded. Harthoon's heavy eyes, 100%. Alright. I've also been burdened. Well. I hope this wears off. Where are you? Where is he? Aha! I think you could get away from me, Barrels are. Whew. Also, the charge is already depleted on that, so. Okay. Deja Claymore and Barrels are's Mazed Band. Yeah, I don't know if I trust El Elmalexi to have it. 60, 52, and 36. Well, it's the same weapon type as uh, King's Oath. So, King's Oath is literally just an enchanted Deja Claymore with no extra attack or anything. I mean, it's 
Not a bad thing, necessarily. But I like how the Daedra Claymore Unenchanted is worth as much as King's Oath. Your journal has been updated. You found it! The Mazed Band of Barrelzar, which no one should have, as he said himself. It is not safe to use. It is not safe for anyone to use. I feel like if I told Berenzia that, she'd be like, oh, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't keep helping, um, Fedra's Flare. Never mind. Just forget I said anything. Just find out if he's an assassin the old fashion, fashion way. You just ask him, point blank. Hey, you an assassin, buddy? And he's like, what? What are you talking about? How dare you? And then, you know, he just stabs you, and you're like, aha, I found out. I found the truth. You're an assassin. He's like, ah, you got me, Nereverine. You and that meddling Berenzia.